So what do we got here? C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, right? F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, <coughs> So, there's our one, right? Mm -hmm. There's our three. Five. There's our five. Now, we have an enharmonic here. We have A sharp or B flat. And that's a flat seven. What kind of chord is that? Dominant seven. Dominant seven. There's your dominant. Now, you see why I like these titles better than symmetric one, symmetric two, or octatonic one and octatonic two? Because everybody always will argue about which one is which for another 400 years. With these, you know, okay. So I prefer those two, but they're called octatonic. Now, a lot of people just call it the octatonic scale. And you have to stop and go, hold on. Are we starting with a whole step or a half step? And they go, well, you should know that. And you look at me and you go, back in the 70s, we would have just given you a Charlie horse right on the spot, right? A Charlie horse? What's a Charlie horse? Charlie. There's a horse named Charlie. Google. Google. All right, I'll Google it. Wasn't that when you like your leg cramp? No, it's when you get somebody right here oh, really hard. Or just a knuckle a there. Okay, so Dom 8 is octatonic <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, but like that's the one with half step, full step. Dominant eight starts with a half step. Okay. Dominant state starts with a whole step. Like when you say that there's no set Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the chord, the chord is what tells you what it is, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a yeah. diminished chord or a dominant chord, that's what, that's what should tell you where it is, right? So those are the two scales, the new ones. Yeah, all right, good. Everybody got it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Okay. 7 a.m. on the floor. Why don't they go 10 a.m.? I know, like a normal time. Wait, what, sorry, final 7 a.m.? Yeah. But till when? Nine till till ten, seven to ten. Eleven. Seven to ten. What if you all come in at eight? Or how long the final do you think it's gonna take? Remember you guys are gonna need the full three hours because you know everybody's going so slow. It's true. Yeah, remember the last. So me and Greg can get here like at nine. <laughs> you up. and Greg didn't even finish. You, can get, you guys can get here whenever you also, want. All right. But if you don't finish, your grade will be deducted <laughs> right. from the questions you don't answer. Okay, so it's from seven to ten. Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, uh, putting it in camera. You guys can get here whenever you want. Wednesday? Like 6 a.m. <laughs> 6 a.m. <laughs> do they do that at some schools? They have class at 6 a.m. at some schools. I think they think they had done that here like a few semesters ago. We didn't yeah, know like Because like some people like had to have that like to get school. Yeah, there was a class from 6 to 7. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. I was, I saw I it. Know, the guy who teaches uh, the... <laughs> History of Jazz here, poor guy Michael Booz. You guys know him? No. Um, he has a Saturday class from 8 oh. to 4. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. That sounds like the most terrible thing in the world. Oh my 8 god. to 4. Saturdays. Okay, so can I erase this now? Alicia? Oh, what? Oh, it's once a month. I still don't know if I'd be able to handle it, but I mean, yeah. Can you just imagine trying to like prepare for it, like all the material we have to prepare in a month? Because you're like condensing like four weeks of class in one day. That's terrible. One of the classes that we're supposed to take for graduating is um, an eight to four class on Saturday. One of your what? No. One of the values that we're supposed to take. Okay. Yeah. okay.
Okay, so these are the names for those scales, right? Uh, but these two are going to eternally remain vague to whoever you explain it to. And you're going to have to explain whether you're going to start with a half step or a whole step with either one of these, right? Mm -hmm. Which is why I don't like using those names. But they're used all the time. You know, the Scriabin, they said, who used the symmetrical scale? Okay, which one? Well, the symmetrical, don't you know the symmetrical scale? No. Yeah, we know the symmetrical scale. Well, which one did he use? The one starting with a whole step or the one starting with a half step? Well, you should know that. <laughs> All right, there's another scale that's a symmetrical scale, which is used by fusion guitarists a lot. But you, go, you guys don't have to know it, but I just think it's a good scale to, to play around with. Uh, it's like this. So it's a whole step, half step, half step, whole step, half step, half step. So that scale is used by guitarists like Alan Holdsworth a lot. And I've heard it called several names, but you never believe what guitarists like to call that scale. What? It's funny. It, they, the most common name I've heard for this scale is the hop, skip, and a jump scale. <laughs> Can you play the hop, skip, and a jump scale? Hop, skip, and a jump. guitarists call it that. I, like I mean, it makes sense. Jump. Do you think fusion no. guitars drink like fusion Okay, guitar? this isn't going to be on a test. This is just another skill I thought you guys would like. Right. That's cool. Okay. Congratulations, real quick. No problem. <laughs> he does think yeah, that's a common answer, right? Yeah, come on, Brady. Switch it up, man. Oh, here we go. Yes. I need to hear the hip hop. Alright, so we just, did, yeah, we just did the 11. We went over pentatonic scales the other day, blues scales and modes. Anybody questioning modes? Anybody not understand modes? No, I don't. Okay. I like them now. Intervals. Everybody understands all the intervals? Yes. yes. What's the rule of nine? Alicia. The intervals add up to nine. Okay. True. Can we uh, try some inversions a little bit? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, inversion. All right. Did I, give you this sheet? Did I give you this one? Yeah, I got this. The rule of thumb is you have thumbs. What? I have the rule of thumb is another one? Two. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're both, they're not the same. Okay. So they. Oh, you got an R. <laughs> I was like, He's all stressed out. <laughs> Try to find the difference. This, this paper has a smudge. I'm telling you test. Try to find the difference. I'll be here for an hour. Just fuck it. Okay. All right, so triad inversions and four part chord inversions, okay? So for triad inversions, I love this purple. Alright, C, E, G, what's the first inversion going to be in the bass? E. E, right? E, G, C, second inversion. Oh, okay, so jazz terminology, we call that a C. What do we call that one? C slash what? E. E. And this one is a C slash G, right? The G. Okay, so classical terminology, we call that a 1, a 1, one six, 6, and six, a 1, four. 6, 4. Okay, here's why. If you have this, there's a third, right, and there's a fifth, right? We can call that a one, five, three. <coughs> this one is a three and a six, right? This one is a four and a six. Those are the intervals in the chord. So the, the actually official terminology is one five three, one six three, and one six four. <coughs> but what do we use, Andrew? One six. One six 
and a 164. One. These are the common ones used for those inversions. These are the jazz chord way to write it. Okay. Does that make sense, Albert? Yes, sir. Okay, what about four part chords? One, one, wait, one seven, one six five, one two three, one two. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three. Base note? So the first one is written in a lot of books, is like this. It's written like that in a lot of places. The next one, and this one, and this one is. Okay, so Lindsay, what do we commonly call this one? Yeah. Two, three, one, seven. One, seven. What about that one? One, six, five. So we, we, we automatically assume that three's in there, right? Mm -hmm. And then this one? This one, four, three. Four, three. three. And this one? Two, four, four, two. Yeah, so we got this, one, one, six, five, one, four, three, and then the one, Two, right? That's it. Cameras. Camera lights action. Camera action lights. Camera lights action lights. <laughs> we already got lights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You guys already know seventh chords, so let's go to ninth chords. Oh, okay. <laughs> what kind of ninth chords we got? Major nine. Okay, so we're at number 32. <clears throat> so we got major nine. What else? Dominant nine. Dominant nine? Then what? Minor nine. Minor nine? Then what? Augmented nine. Then what? Half diminished nine. Diminished nine. Keep going. Uh, major nine, flat nine. What? I mean, major seven, flat nine. And then major seven, sharp nine. I mean, and then just more nine. Dominant, not, dominant seven, sharp nine, flat nine. Altered skit. <laughs> the altered dominant chord. The major. 
Eight or nine has a got seven, right? One, three, five. One, three, no, five. no, no, no. No? Major nine is one, three, five, seven, nine. Right? Domino nine is one, three, five, flat seven, nine. Minor nine, one. Help me out here. Flat three. Flat three. Five. Five. Flat seven. Oh, my nine. God. Here's a bugger. One, three. Sharp. Five. Sharp five. Yeah. Huh? Flat seven. Nine. Ooh, half diminished nine. So what's a half diminished seventh chord? You know, that's your favorite chord, isn't it? No. D minor nine was your favorite chord, right? Yeah. So this one is one, flat three, flat five, flat seven, and then nine, right? Yeah. Then diminished nine is one, flat three, flat five, double flat seven, nine. Major seven flat nine is one three five seven flat nine. Major seven sharp nine one three five seven sharp nine. Dominant seven sharp nine is one three five flat seven sharp nine. Now you guitar players, what chord is that? That's a uh, oh the Hendrix chord. I thought that Hendrix chord was a dominant seven. Oh, dominant seven. Why is it a double three? Double flat, sorry. Oh, I was really confused for a second. I can't even that. Yeah, so the E7 sharp nine. There. Dominant seven sharp nine chord. So the augmented nine, the other is just. Augmented as a flat. Augmented nine is a flat seven nine, right? If you have a major seven. Oh, is that what that is in front of the seven? Uh, minute nine? One, three, sharp, five, flat seven? Flat seven, nine. Okay. Yeah. We have a major seven. A B. Actually, what you're talking about is this one. Major nine plus five. That's a common chord. The natural seven. That's a common, that's like a chicory chord. Chicory. 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 Okay, dominant seven flat nine. That's the same thing as this with the flat nine seven, right? Okay. Okay, minor seven flat five flat nine. Holy One flat three flat five flat seven flat nine. And then it's easy to figure these out. You're not down. Okay. Two. Two. Just listen to music all night. What if Greg played us music from Plus 2? That would be amazing. That would be amazing. I mean, yeah, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not hearing it. Okay, so we're going to go for the final exam. Let's write it on here. Can we park it? Oh. Church. That's okay. We don't need it. We have the nomenclature. Yeah. There yeah. it is, there it is, no picture song. <laughs> That's it. Be on the next CD. Work <laughs> a set. I think you should make a set. It's a nomenclature song. It's a nomenclature song. Sitting around with a bunch of kids on the carpet. I heard, I heard it's pretty funny. This is a nomenclature song. Just playing music theory. This is a four chord. <laughs> yeah, I have flashbacks with all of that. I remember.
What's 59? 59 is polysteel systems. systems. Which is what we covered today. Right? Mm -hmm. What's a polysteel? Yeah, so that's, that's the that's final word there. Two skills, right? Two skills. And what did we cover today? Two diminished scales on top of each other? Mm -hmm. Which gave us the dominant eight note scale and the diminished eight note scale. Those are poly scales, right? Mm -hmm. The, 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 what's the ox tonic? It's a poly scale, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Now, the poly scale subject can be expanded yeah. way more than that. Wait, what are the other numbers we have to study? <laughs> <coughs> 1 through 24, 27, 28, 31, 32. Po Polyscope sy systems are like, this is what we just did. Poly the we we just did it for the past 30 minutes. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that's what I'm yeah. Two scales on top of each other is a polyscale, right? Poly -scale. We're only doing one subject. We're doing the dominant eight note scale and the diminishing note scale. We're not doing all the other crazy polyscales invented by crazy people. <laughs> like the G over an A flat scale. <laughs> That's just so many more. C minor over A flat dominant scale. Yeah. 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 Cool. What's the Petrushka chord? That's your assignment, yes. A Andrew. That, that what? Petrushka, Petrushka chord. Petrushka? Petrushka chord. That means Petrushka you have to learn how to spell it. Yeah, I don't even know how to spell it. Google, bro. Google, how to spell Petrushka. How am I going to spell it? But no, there's, there's still going to be like analysis and all this all this other stuff too. That's Shh. yeah. Okay. But that's like that's like the main thing. Yeah. I'm not going to go crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Adrian, do you want to ride with me to Hillcrest? Yeah, I'll go with you or not. Okay. Um, my car's like right out front. That's why I got like, the bus stop. Where are you going? Your computer. Uh, did you go to Maria? No. How would you go to Maria? I don't know. What, I think it's that. I have to go to Maria. Oh, what? Yeah. 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 Like, it's like broken in half. No, it's a laptop. Um, 19 or 2000. I'm sorry. Better than what I have now. I'll drop it here. Huh? He's not getting a Hotel room on Tuesday night. I know, right? I'm so sad about this test. So, is this like my grade this final? Well, because your your midterm was so slow. Yeah. yeah. You got to count on this one more than that one.